want you to picture this. You're driving down a country road, perhaps going a little faster than the speed limit, and you see police lights right behind you, and you wait to pull over until it's safe to do so. And there's no shoulder on the side of the road, only to be met by an officer with a gun that's drawn, pointing straight at you. Well, this is the scenario a 16-year-old boy had to deal with, with an Orange Grove police officer. Six Investigates' Brian Hoffman has the details in a story that you're going to only see right here on Chris 6. And we want to warn you, some of these images may be disturbing to some viewers. Show me your hands right now! Turn off the vehicle right now! Turn it off! Get out! Get out now! This is the body camera video of the traffic stop conducted by an Orange Grove police officer on December 14th of last year. You see the officer pointing a gun at 16-year-old Landon Chandler, who was pulled over for going 50 in a 35-mile-an-hour zone. I was scared. I was just going to do what he said. Not until he started telling me to unbuckle my seatbelt. I had to double-check everything because... I don't want to get shot. A Chandler told me that the officer tried to pull him over in an area where he didn't feel safe stopping. So he slowed down and stopped on the next available side street. On that road, there's no shoulder. So I'd had to get all the way in the grass. Or, so I didn't want him to be in danger, me to be in danger with cars coming. According to that body cam footage, the officer said that the teen was evading arrest. But the Texas Department of Public Safety's own handbook actually provides guidance on stops exactly like these, saying, quote, park on the right shoulder, or if unavailable, park on a nearby well-lighted side streets or parking lot away from high volume traffic. I was, I was so scared for my son's life. I mean, it's like you, you can't, you know, you just, you can never put yourself in that situation as a parent until it, it actually happens. The parents of the teen say they tried resolving the matter, asking for the police chief to retrain the officer. But they tell me that request was ignored. Well, he was, he was very dismissive of our situation. Um, he immediately said he didn't feel that his officer did anything wrong. So they decided to voice their concerns at Wednesday night's city council meeting. I have kept this out of the public for fear that this officer will retaliate against my child, but it is time to stand up for what is right and to stand up for our community. Following that meeting, several residents described what they say are negative and aggressive interactions with the same officer. Six investigates tried to speak to both the mayor and police chief, but they refused to answer any questions. How uh, I'm not going to discuss it. I've made that perfectly clear, and I'm not going to discuss it. As for the family, they've have already paid the speeding ticket and are just asking for further training for this officer. They also recommend parents teach their kids what to do if they're in a similar situation. There are so many cases that you see mostly on the news that end in tragedy because a young person did not know to ask, can I unbuckle my seatbelt? For Six Investigates, Brian Hoffman. Well, this morning, the Orange Grove City Attorney got back to Brian saying no official will speak on this issue or any other matter. They directed us to file a public information request, which we did, and we will update you on the city's response.